Hello friend, it's uh, Boris Legend here and today it's time for a new tutorial on my channel because the patch changed a lot when it comes to finishing and our dear mistimed finesse shots are gone. Now it's time for a new meta finishing in FIFA 19, the driven shot. And today I will teach you two really effective driven shot techniques in front of a goal that really will improve your efficiency. Let's get into it. The driven shots in FIFA 19 work a bit differently than in FIFA 18. There the combination was easier and the consistency was higher. There are ways in FIFA 19 to make the driven shot just as consistent as last year. As we can tell from pro tournaments, this is a finishing technique to go. Here we have the matchup in a major semi-final with the German Megabit against the Wonder Kid Tex. And guess what? Almost all goals in this matchup came from the exactly same technique, the timed driven shot. Let's dive into it. Before we go any further, let's get into the basics. So, a driven shot in FIFA 19 is performed by holding down L1 and R1 at the same time while you press the shooting button. Now, there are four keys here to massively improve your driven shot. The first one is to simply not use too much power. Around 3 bars is absolutely perfect. If you power up the driven shot too much, it will get a higher error margin. Here you can see how my opponent scores from a regular driven shot with pretty low power. While we try maximum power, even time, but we don't manage to hit the target, all because we're using too much power. The second key is to find a little bit of an angle. A driven shot just running straight towards the goal has a higher error margin than if you are slightly angled towards the goal. The third key is, if possible, to slow down just before the shot. If you take a driven shot running in full speed, it will be more inconsistent than if you are just jogging. Here you can see from the same game, example 1, using the driven shot in full speed. And example 2, driven shot, jogging speed and we have a goal. Now the fourth key is optional but it will take your driven shots to a new level. Green timing the shots. This will give extra power and accuracy to the shot. It might sound tricky to some but it is easier done than said. Just go to skill games, bronze shooting and practice 15 to 20 minutes each day to master the timed driven shots. The rule of thumb is to have about one second between the first and the second press on the shot button. But as you master this pattern, you will notice the magic of muscle memory. And when it comes to all types of timed shots, you rather press later than earlier. If you press too early, it will turn yellow, which massively will decrease the shot accuracy. While if you press late, it will turn white, which doesn't affect the shot quality at all. The difference between a regular and time driven shot is big. The time version can be performed successfully from a much bigger angle and you don't have to use as much power. You can basically just tap the shot button and time it and it will still get crazy power. This saves you time in tight opportunities. Here we have another example from the latest major final where the Portuguese player Tuga misses a great driven opportunity because the shot wasn't timed. While Tex on the other hand from a very difficult angle uses lower power, times it and there you go. The difference can decide games. Alright so we just go here to skill games. This is where I practice uh, my timed driven shots and just shooting and the best exercise is shooting bronze. So when it comes to the driven shot it is the L1 and R1 button and you can see here how we're gonna practice uh, in this uh, skill games and it's just just have to go here a couple of minutes every day and just trying to find this feeling of the green time shot. You can see how powerful it is we don't even have to use uh, much power even if you overtime it will turn white and will still be able to uh, uh, score goals. I'm just trying to find here a small angle and uh, just the shooting here across the goal towards the far post even though 
a near post finish here also works good. It's all about finding this small angle, timing it, and you can see here, just practice, practice. Uh, yellow timing won't be as good, of course, but it is the green time magic here that is uh, super effective in uh, FIFA 19, and especially, you can see here, it is more consistent if you're shooting uh, towards simply the far post. So yes, we're just trying to slow down the speed a little bit and just do like this. Far post, across the goal, it is uh, more consistent and you can just see here uh, this magic. Of course, sometimes it will fail. You won't score every single shot, but if you just practice here in skill games to try to find uh, uh, this green timing and also finding the small angle for the shot and no matter what you do the shot will get sick power if you manage to find this uh, green bar just uh, one two you can see here that we have the green timing one two a bit uh, too late we have to do it faster one two and it's just about it's not about counting it's about finding this muscle memory you see here i can just talk and do this uh, simultaneously it all counts from practicing a lot in this uh, skill games arena now here comes some bonus content who said that their old finesse shots are gone there is a way in fifa 19 to outsmart the game mechanics and make the impossible possible it is far from as good as in fifa 18 but it's still worth to have in your fifa 19 repertoire as you can see from these examples, we find easy goals towards the near post with this finishing technique. Okay, so driven finesse shot. It is simple. Just do a finesse shot with the R1 button and tap L1 in the middle of the motion. Just like this, you can see here, we get uh, this small tap on uh, L1 in the middle of the motion. So just a finesse shot and just tap the L1 button here in the middle of the motion. You can see it's not uh, super uh, consistent, even though if you manage to find this right power on the shot, uh, you will still be able to score a lot of nice goals and scoring maybe from angles that you wouldn't do uh, usually, even though here it is a poor display. But there you can see how we get the, the right um, power on the shot and it looks really unsavable for the keeper because here once again uh, uh, looks super nice and hold R1 the finesse shot button throughout the whole motion don't release it until the ball has left the player's feet so R1 tap the L1 button and you can use you can see here pretty high power and it looks absolutely fantastic The sweet spot for the driven finesse shot there seems to be around 3 bars of power, just as for the regular driven shot. It gives a lot of power and has good accuracy. While if you use maximum power, the shot will be very inconsistent and sometimes even gets lower velocity than a 3 bar version. Here you can see how we use the driven finesse shot consistently, towards the near post, but also with the classical Thierry Henry far post finish. What about timing? Well, the driven finesse shots are not worth the time. Since the latest patch, the timed finesse shots are extremely inconsistent and the same goes for the driven timed finesse version. The risk is simply way too high versus the reward. So, stick with the untimed variation when it comes to the driven finesse shot. Alright, uh, there you go lads, uh, two great uh, end game uh, finishing techniques and just to practice, uh, go to skill games and add this uh, to your muscle memory and this will really improve your shot accuracy in front of the goal. But uh, that is it for today guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to drop a like. Uh, thank you so much for watching and as always you know, until next time.